Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I'll be letting you know the starting lineup and reserves for both Scotland and England in their upcoming Six Nations fixture. But if you are new to this channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But nonetheless, let's get straight into this lineup. Right, so this game, right, so this game of the Six Nations, Scotland versus England. It's an exciting one. I've been looking forward to this game since we saw these two sides play off last year. And now we get to see it again. Two strong lineups, few changes for both sides, but we will be going through them. We will start with Scotland. And they are going to be as follows. Number one is Rory Sutherland. Number two, George Turner. And number three, Xander Fagerson. So very good front row to have for Scotland in the scrums. And they're going to need them for this one because England have also packed a bit of a punch when it comes to their four back. Number four is Johnny Gray. Very good player. Number five, it will be Grant Gilchrist alongside him. The loose forward trio that they have decided to go with, which is always an exciting one to see for the Scottish. It is going to be Jamie Ritchie, Matt Fagerson. Now up to the loose, now going to the loose forwards. This is always an exciting trio to watch for Scotland. Now going through to the loose forwards, number six, it is going to be. Now going through to the loose forwards, this is always an exciting trio to get the witness for Scotland. Number six, it will be Jamie Ritchie. Number seven, Hamish Watson is going to be there. And then number eight, it will be Matt Fagerson, who has also been going very nicely for himself as of late. So it will be very exciting to see how those three go up against the English but now looking through at the backs number nine Ali Price and number 10 Finn Russell now this will actually be the first time in the Six Nations that we are seeing that the captain is not the fly half because of course for Ireland versus Wales Johnny Sexton Dan Bigger Finn Russell misses out unfortunately he is not going to be the captain for this game although they probably do have a good reason for that and that is because they have already given the captaincy to someone else in that Scottish lineup. Now to 11, it is going to be Duan Fun to move in. Number 12, Sam Johnson. And number 13, Mr. Consistency, Chris Harris, is going to be in that centre combo as well. Number 14, they have gone with Darcy Graham. He was in some very good form for last year's Autumn Internationals. And then to close it out in the starting lineup, it's a good way to close it out as well, Stuart Hawk at number 15. He will be very excited for this competition. So we will have to wait and see how he goes at fullback throughout this one. But now looking through at the reserves, number 16, it will be Stuart McAnally. Number 17 will be Pierre Schoolman. And then at number 18, it is going to be WP Nell. Then at number 19, it is Sam Skinner. Number 20 is going to be Magnus Bradbury, which is a name that I don't think I've ever had to say before on the channel. So I'm excited to see how he goes in this one. Number 21, it is Ben White. Number 22 will be Blair Kinghorn. And then number 23, to close out the starting lineup and reserves, it is going to be Sione Tui Pilotu. But that is the starting lineup and reserves for Scotland. Now looking at England away from home, this game is going to be at Murrayfield. So this will be a very tough fixture. Definitely, if there is going to be a lot of Scottish in attendance, it's going to make this atmosphere absolutely electric for this game. But looking through at the English starting lineup, number one, it is Alice Genge. Number two, Luke Cowan Dickey. And then number three, it is Kyle Sinclair. Then number four, it is going to be the man who was nominated for player of the year last year. It is Mara Toja. Number five, it is going to be Nick Iziekwe. Number six, it is Lewis Ludlow. Number seven, the captain for this one, Tom Curry. And then at number eight, they have gone with Sam Simmons. So I do like the fact that they have decided to go with a specialist eight in the number eight jersey. Because throughout the Autumn Internationals last year, they actually decided to go with Tom Curry as their number eight a majority of the time. Even though they did have Sam Simmons and also Alex Dombrand just waiting there, waiting for the opportunity. They were both coming off the bench. And Tom Curry was getting a start. So it's good to see that they've gone back to having that number eight. And hopefully Sam Simmons will be able to have a bit of an impact in this one. Number nine, it is going to be Ben Young's number 10. Marcus Smith, no sign of Owen Farrell due to his injury. He is going to be missing this whole Six Nations. So now Marcus Smith and number 10 really going to get the chance to cement himself as that starting fly half. Number 11, they have gone with Joe Marchant. Who of course has a huge amount of pace. And I'm looking forward to seeing him versus Darcy Graham. Out there on the field. Number 12, it will be Henry Slade. Number 13, Elliot Daly does slot into that outside centre role. Number 14, Max Malins. He has been scoring a lot of tries for Saracens as of late. So we will have to wait and see whether or not that translates over to international level. And then number 15, the youngster, Freddie Stewart, who came onto the scene in the last Autumn Internationals. And he has cemented himself as the best option at number 15 for England. He's a phenomenal talent and will be an exciting prospect to watch throughout this game. Definitely up against the veteran and Stuart Hogg. But we will have to wait and see who gets the better of that battle. But that is the starting lineup for England. Now we will look at the reserves, and they are going to be as follows. Number 16, they have gone with Jamie George. Number 17, Joe Marler. And then number 18, Will Stewart. In number 19, it is Charlie Yours. Number 20 will be Alex Dombrand. Number 21, Harry Randall. Number 22, they have gone with George Ford, who is back into the fly-half pitcher due to Owen Farrell being out. He did actually miss out on the last year's Autumn International fixtures for George Ford, so he will be happy 
to be back into this one. And then number 23 to close out the starting lineups and reserves. It is going to be Jack Knoll does play for the Exeter Chiefs in the Gallagher Premiership. But thank you all very much for tuning in. Do let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. But thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We are going to be live for our live commentary of this game. Scotland versus England. It is starting at 5.45am New Zealand time. But we will be up for it. And it should be a very exciting fixture. But thank you all very much for tuning in. And I will see you all for the next one.